This video compares leading memory tools available for your AI applications. These tools are local and free and the difference between them could decide the fate of your AI powered application. Want to know more and which memory system is the smartest for your need? Stay tuned. I'm Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. The tools which I'm going to cover are Lata, Mem0, MemoryPy, and then this MemoBase, then comes Memories-Dev, and then we have LangMem, followed by RedCache AI. I'm going to do an in-depth comparison of all of these tools. Also, I have already made local installation videos with testing in detail separately for each of these tools on the channel. So if you're interested in any tool, just go to my channel and search it out and you should be able to find that video. When we talk about memory for AI, we mean a system that allows AI models like LLMs or VLLMs to remember past interactions or user specific details. Unlike humans, traditional LLMs forget everything once a convers conversation is over. Memory tools help solve this by giving AI models the ability to store and recall important facts, user preferences, and even knowledge gained over multiple sessions. These LETs, these chatbots and virtual assistants maintain context, personalize responses, and behave more consistently making them far more useful and lifelike in real-world application. Memory is essential for applications of different kind and use cases which I will be discussing later down the road. Now, you must be wondering why I have selected these tools. So, one reason is that I have personally used these with various clients in one form of another for different use cases and then I have also seen the huge proliferation of these tools in the industry and that is why I am covering them. Some of them are more popular than other but we will get to see. Now this is not a list which is exhaustive by any means. There are a lot of other tools which I will also be covering later and these things are evolving. What is hot and working now might not work next month. This is what the state of industry is. We are working on bleeding edge. Okay, so let's get started with our comparison. If you look at this table, what we are doing here is we are comparing and outlining core memory types each tool supports, whether they manage ongoing conversation, store long-term facts or distinguish between user versus agent memory. For developers, building applications where the distinction between session state, user history, or agent knowledge matters, this table helps to pre-filter candidate tools. For example, MemoBase, clear focus on structured user profile, makes it ideal for personalization, while Lata and Mem0 are more general agent state manager. Then comes the second one where we have integration which is vital for practical adoption. So if you look here, this table is highlighting how easily each tool fits into your existing workflow. Practical LLM deployment often hinges on API SDK compatibility, integration with frameworks like Langchain or Langgraph and various other and the range of LLM supported. Lata and Mem0 stand out for broad SDK and cross language support while Lang Mem's native ties to Lang graph appeal to those invested in agentic workflows. If you require a strong visual or monitoring interface, Lata's agent development environment or ADE is a unique advantage. Cloud local split is important for privacy and cost conscious deployments. Most tools either support both or can be self hosted. Then we have memory management. Memory management, depth and flexibility are really, I think, one of the cornerstone of these applications. Some tools like MemoryPy and Mem0 use clustering, graph-based associations or dynamic extraction, which helps maintain relevance and coherence in long sessions. Time-aware memory, for example, decay, event ordering, prioritization helps agents forget or downplay old data. 
custom tool plugin integrations matter for adapting your agent sections in complex environments. Letta and Langmem are particularly strong here. Multi-agent support means you can run several agents or support collaborative scenario-based LLMs architectures natively. Okay, moving forward, if you look at this performance and reliability table, enterprises and high use applications live or die by scalability, low latency, tools like MEM0 and memory Dev are engineered for ultra low latency. For instance, MEM0 is 91% lower than some baselines, memory Dev has around less than 100 millisecond overhead, but both of them are robust and production ready operations by the way. Letta and MemoBase are suited for high throughput and multi-user environments. Local, on-prem or self-hosted control is especially important for privacy-sensitive or regulated industries. MemoryPy, MemoBase and Letta all offer strong options here and you can just make a drop-in replacement. Then a very important consideration around licensing and maturity. Look, licensing affects both freedom and ecosystem longevity. All tools here are open source. Whether they are Apache 2 or MIT, I personally prefer Apache 2. Maturity and depth of support vary. Letta, MemoryPy and Mem0 are robustly supported with communities and active development. Redcash AI, though promising, is early in its evolution and I really don't see much movement there, which is a shame. But it is fine for prototyping. Uh, but I think I would advise caution for mission critical work when it comes to that cash AI. Corporate or production adoption is safest with tools showing strong documentation and active community and clear support commitment. But there are a lot of other, uh, I would say, things which you need to take care of if you are deploying it in production environment with enterprise consideration in mind. Okay, then. Cutting through technical details, this table provides actionable guidance um, where matching each tool strength to typical real world need. Start. Let's start with memory pipe. It is really good and great for those who want deep configurable memory with explicit context control. Letta is ideal for production agents, especially where agent behavior must be governed or monitored. Redcache AI is good for learning and smaller projects where you just want to do some early experimentation it's simple and easy mem0 is quite good for scalability and multi-session and responsive assistant it offers measurable speed and accuracy gains are quite good memo base is engineered for apps needing detailed user profiles for example personalization user analysis and targeted ads memories dev is good or maybe suitable for mission critical applications especially in finance healthcare and space where factual verification and uptime are non-negotiable and that is quite important in my opinion then we have lang mem which is important and that is actually more important when you uh, go with agentic modular lang graph based system so if you are using lang graph more Lang mem may be a native and default choice. So look, as I was saying earlier, in conclusion, by comparing these tools along all these dimensions, like memory structure, integration, feature richness, performance, openness, and use case fit, you can make clear justifiable choices for your LLM powered application. And all of these tools have been validated against real world needs. Also, I want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. If you are using any other tool in your production environment or you think that um, there should be a tool in this list, please mention it in the comments. We are all are learning together, so I'm very grateful for your support if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching